Today is a Costco shop with me video. Come meander through the store with me, see what's new, get some groceries, and as always, since I am a former employee of Costco, I will share any shopping tips or tricks along the way. Let's go. Right when you walk in, there's all kinds of deals on protein shakes. I've heard, statistically speaking, most people who have some sort of fitness goal uh, for the new year, they give up by January 18th. So who still is on their fitness goals? I know I am. $9 off of this, $22.99 for, let's see, 24 ounces is an amazing deal. The 20 ounce one at Target is over $30. I do like Vital Proteins. I know there's mixed reviews about these online in terms of how much they actually help your skin, hair, and nails. But I mean, honestly, I just do it for the protein. Just add the serving size to your green smoothies in the mornings and you get 20 grams of protein like that. Ooh, if you are into Olay, Anytime they have a sale on Olay products, it's always an amazing deal here. You basically get two for the price that you would get one at Target or Walmart. Some great deals on cleaning products right now. I use laundry sanitizer on all of my microfiber cloths that I used to clean with. And then this Dawn Power Wash, I absolutely love. I personally prefer the free and clear kind, but this combo here would cost you about $13 at Target. And right now it's only $8. They got all their outdoor furniture out right now. I really love all the tables that have the like center fire burner thing. I don't know what you call it. Fireplace, fire table. I love s'mores. So any opportunity to have a fire focal point is the perfect s'mores opportunity, which is always good for me. More fire tables here. This one is a huge set that I actually think is really beautiful. I also like the gray cushions because I made the mistake of getting outdoor white cushions and I'm just forever cleaning them all the time. Fire tables galore and this huge gazebo here is $2,000. If your budget is under $2,000, however, I am sorry, you do not get a fire table. Ooh, Sam's Club had something like this last year and now Costco does. You can basically have your own outdoor bar area and it is $2,500. You got cabinets and everything back here to store all of your hosting supplies. Dang. Basic, basic seating has gotten so expensive. This rocking chair is almost $200. The Adirondack chairs that were just over 100 last year are now 140. Cheapest you can get are these ones here for $50 a piece, which I mean, they feel nice and sturdy and easy to clean. Definitely not the best form though. I feel like my my lower back at this age would really start aching if I had to sit in here for more than an hour. For $45, they have these absolutely huge for scale. Here's my, here's my hand, yeah, hand. These, these are very large uh, ceramic planters for $45. Oh, this is kind of genius. For $30, since these ceramic planters, especially once they're all filled up with dirt, are so heavy, you can get these little movable cart things for them. My $30, though, if I had to choose to spend $30 on something for outdoors, would be on this home defense insect killer. Living in Texas, the bugs are just insane sometimes. For $35, we also have the two packed of insect killer lanterns that are solar powered. Flickering flame, bug zapper. Ooh, I don't like the zapper thing. I don't want to hear the demise of these bugs. I would just rather have them go away silently. <laughs> if I ever acquired the motivation to plant my own garden, it would for sure be in something like this for $150 because it has a self-watering irrigation system. Plus it's off the ground, so I don't have to worry about all the little critters and bunnies and stuff getting after everything i mean depending on what you grow this is this actually seems like a really good deal food is not getting any cheaper right now I, it it might serve me well to start learning how to grow stuff i had a friend tell me once that they were pondering getting this solo stove so that they could do s'mores outside <laughs> seems like a pretty huge flame just for s'mores but look at this they have mini solo stoves you get a two pack on clearance it ends in 97 that means it's clearance and it has a little asterisk so once they sell out they are not bringing them back i am pondering getting a new refrigerator freezer i mean i guess freezers usually come with the refrigerator but i need a new fridge is what i'm saying and i'm pondering buying it here at costco just because i know their warranty return policy all that stuff is so good they are just very expensive but my freezer bottom door has been having trouble closing 
And so it's been accidentally cracked open multiple times and so much food has gone bad i need to just replace it clearance alert this cricut explore 3 is about a hundred dollars off it's normally around 300 dollars. so if you've been looking at doing some crafting now is the opportunity another i'm honestly surprised they even have this raise your hand in the comments who still has a landline this seems like it should be should have been on clearance like 10 years ago but hey if if you have a landline and you need four landline phones this is your time to get it, I guess. I don't even know if $50 is a good good price on it because I don't even know what this stuff generally goes for. Oh, this is fun and it's on sale for $16. A writing refresh. Am I the only one who loves fun writing utensils? I have about 80,000 pens in my house that I really need to go through and see which ones actually still work and declutter probably 75% of them, but this is cute. $40 two magnetic wireless power banks. This is actually a pretty good deal for two. I am going to get one. I can leave one charged up in my car and one in my purse. Tons of deals on floor care right now. They have this carpet cleaner that also has a hand attachment for hard to reach places. A shark upright vacuum that is corded. The Dyson, which is what I own, which I personally, uh, probably would not recommend. I would personally recommend a shark. I have this one here or one very similar to this and it is on sale right now. I do recommend this one. I really like it and I like that it bends here. You just click a little button and it flexes so that you can easily get under furniture. It's less expensive than the Dyson and the Dyson does not do that. They have all their new suitcases for travel. And this one I think is actually pretty cool. It has a cool idea on it that I haven't seen before. This easy access front pocket that you can put your computer in, I think is a really good idea if you never plan on ever checking your bags. And sometimes, at least for me, cause I'm not like, I don't know, some bougie person who always gets first class and always gets guaranteed space to put your bag. Sometimes they force you to check your bag. And if my computer was in here and they forced me to check it, I'm pretty sure it would get broken as they throw it around. It doesn't matter if it's a hard case. It's really like not that hard to protect a computer. Unless Ricardo wants to personally ensure my computer. I wouldn't trust my computer in here if they were going to force check my bag. This looks like such a good deal if you're just starting to organize your home and you're looking for little organization pieces for your drawer, for your cabinets. This 11 piece set is only $10. Do you not need another small appliance, but I think this is so cool and it is on sale right now for $100, but it's the Ninja Foodi Flex Basket Air Fryer. You can can make it a massive air fryer or you can do two different things that cook at two different temps at the same time so everything completes at the same time. I did get this one, however, last time I was at Costco and it is $20 off right now. I've been loving it. I have made so many soups for the cold weather. So sometimes I'll sear the meat and then I'll cook it in the soup and I don't have to use multiple pans. Everything can just be done in this one container. These are new and they're so cute for only $10. Just little decorative bowls to put snacks in and stuff. Now I will say personally, Speaking, I would prefer if it was 10 bowls that all matched. I just like everything to match. But if you don't care about that, I mean, it's a dollar a piece and they're very pretty bowls. They finally brought these whisk wares back and it is $20 for a three pack, which is a really good deal because one of these is anywhere between like 12 to $17 on Amazon. In the blender category, this is new. The Beast Blending System, $120. I don't know exactly what is different or special about it other than it is very pretty. Personally have just this Ninja Blender, not as pretty, but works really well. They do not have a price listed on it, but the Ninja Creamy must be doing really well because they've come out with a deluxe larger version now. Clearance item alert. It seems all of the Sharper Image compact power percussion massagers that they did not sell through over the holidays, they are now clearancing. They also have this new one here for $100 that has an ice and heat therapy on it. If there is a 40 year old plus dude in your life, 
wife get this for him, he will appreciate it. Seems like everyone I know, once they hit 40, that's when all the weird little aches and pains start. So those massagers are actually very helpful. All of their knives are on clearance. Now, I am not a pro when it comes to cooking knives, but my boyfriend is very into cooking and apparently the knives are super important. That probably sounds really obvious to most of you, but it was not to me. This one here, just this chef's knife on their site is about $150. You get the indoor knife block and two other knives for 20 bucks more. This one right here, I just looked it up on their site, $200 on their site, $70 here. This is new if you are into just plain white stoneware or this is porcelain dinnerware. You get 12 pieces for $20. $5. Maybe I'm boring, but I personally like just plain white dinnerware. This one is really pretty. 40 porcelain dishes from Mikasa, $80. This is a good deal for $15. They have this Farberware salad spinner. I have one by the OXO brand that's a lot more expensive, but same concept. Oh, it's not put together properly, but put your salad or I've seen a lot of people washing their fruit and berries in these because you spin it and it spins out all the water to really dry your produce so that it stays super fresh and crisp. Bougie product alert for $80. They have all clad brand, which is a really expensive brand. Normally I've seen it at Williams Sonoma. They have three nonstick fry pans for $80. Very similar ones at Williams Sonoma, if not the same ones or twice the price. They still got their dupe of the always pan and it has the little asterisk on it. So if you really wanted it, once they sell out, it's going away. These are new to Costco and honestly, just really pretty. I love the gold handles on these. For $60, you get three green pans. $5 off this bamboo plastic bag organizer. I'm gonna get this. My bags are just like spread out and in their original cardboard, ugly, visual cluttery packaging. This will look so much better and I can store stuff on top of it. I've seen this little Toto wash wet here for a while and it goes on sale a lot, but this is new. I have not yet seen a $1,600 just totally one piece smart toilet here yet. I'm a slob. I just have a regular toilet. It has a little butt sprayer thingy on it. I guess one could call it a bidet. It really just seems like a trashy hose attached to my toilet, but no pun intended <laughs> to anyone out there who has a bidet. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments. For $100, they still have my dual step trash can recycling and trash by simple human it's 50 percent less than if you buy it anywhere else these this is 200 dollars on amazon i do not have a tesla or any other smart car but if you do it looks like costco has you covered they have this thing called the wall box smart electric vehicle charger charges seven times faster than the standard i don't know doesn't apply to me but for those who it applies to, I'm sharing it. This was more applicable to me recently because my car's battery kept dying and fortunately I have a boyfriend now so he just replaced my battery but I was really close to getting this. They brought back these huge kid craft outdoor play areas. This little house here is 380. I pondered getting one of these for my boys at one point in time but I can barely keep up with cleaning my own house. I'm not getting another little house to have to keep up the cleaning on. Then the really Really big play set is $1,200 right now. For $70, they brought back this axe throwing darts game. So apparently no one got severely injured when they, when they brought it out about eight months ago. So it must be a safe game if you've been looking at getting axe throwing in your life as a family. They got all the furniture back here and the price on Costco furniture, especially sofas, is so good. Like look at this one over here. This one is $1,000 right now. Where can you get a couch for $1,000 in 2024? I'll tell you where, Costco. <laughs> But I will say I did just buy myself a new couch from Living Spaces. I waited to see if I liked any of the spring furniture at Costco before making the decision, but none of the Costco furniture styles really fit my home. So I did spend more money. I got this one from Living Spaces, which is kind of a dupe, a little bit of a Pottery Barn one, but for a lot less money than the Pottery Barn one. But it still costs more than 
any furniture I could have gotten at Costco. Every six months, roughly, at Costco swaps out some of their TV consoles. This one is $570. I think they're always so beautiful. They feel very sturdy and well-made. They're heavy, solid wood. I actually do personally own one Costco TV console. I've had it for, at this point, probably five years, and I love it. This is beautiful oh my goodness it is huge i don't know if you can tell let me set up my phone <laughs> i so hate filming myself on camera when i'm in public places this is the 380 dollars, so it is not a cheap faux plant but it looks like something i've seen at pottery barn and it really does look fairly realistic oh this is really pretty and new 450 dollars if you need some mid-century modern furniture this large dining table is 300 dollars off i i mean this I don't want this to sound like a Costco ad, but really the furniture at Costco, even though I didn't just buy my new couch from Costco, if you find something you like, it really is good quality and a good price. The challenge is finding something that you feel fits your home decor, because compared to a furniture store, they really don't have that many options. This is so cute at Living Spaces. Chip and Joanna Gaines have their Magnolia brand there, and they had this on tons of their furniture, so this this is very Magnolia-esque. One thing I'm not impressed with price-wise here at Costco is this Sealy self-inflatable air mattress. It's a queen size, it auto inflates. However, I just got one by the brand Intex at Walmart for 60 bucks. Self-inflates worked perfect when I had a bajillion people visiting me in town and more than half the price than this. They got their tents again. This 10 person tent here that has three different light modes in the lighted tent is $250. I'm sure my boys are gonna force me to take them camping one of these days. I'm more of a glamper, meaning I wanna stay in an actual cabin where I know the bears can't get me. But if my when that day comes and my boys force me to take and camping. I guess I'll get my tent here. For $150, they have their dupe of the Yeti. This one is only 70 cords. The Yeti one is 75 cords, but for like $300 less, I'll, I would lose the five cords, even though this is not something I would ever buy because even completely empty, I can barely lift it. I must and can only ever get coolers that have wheels on them. And unfortunately, it seems like any cooler that has wheels on it is automatically like a crappier, not as cool cooler. Like I want them to make the Yeti style coolers with wheels on them at an affordable price point for me. Clearance prices ends in 97. All of this workout equipment, we should really have our New Year's resolutions start at the end of January because everyone who's given up ends in 97 on clearance. Everyone who's given up on their healthy goal resolutions, you can just get all this equipment for so much less. Their little greenhouses get cuter and cuter every year. This would be so pretty to just have outside. Even though I have a black thumb, and I, I'm not gonna plant on anything. It's just a pretty little outdoor house. They still got these lolly belt bags. Quick on these bags. They look just like the Lululemon everywhere bags and they're 60% less money. This is new. I am in the market for a machine washable area rug. I have never seen them here. $20 off, $50 for a five by seven rug. Now, I'm looking for a huge nine by 12 washable rug. Honestly, I don't really like the feel of these. They come in these four styles. Personally, none of them really fit what I'm going for with my house. I, in the past, have gotten ruggable, washable rugs, which at one point they did sponsor me over here on YouTube. And then I didn't let them sponsor me again because after I washed my rug, maybe five-ish times, I felt like it just didn't hold up as well as I thought it should have. However, I'm about to buy a new area rug and I'm gonna buy ruggable rug because I'm just now I know I'm not gonna machine wash it all the time but I like the texture of the rug I like the designs so I'm gonna get it for that in the beauty section now this is such a good deal at 
$20 for the two pack Kristen S gentle shampoo and conditioner. I used to use the Kristen S shampoo and conditioner. I actually use L'Oreal at the moment right now, but one of the little bottles of this at Target is over $10. When it comes to the beauty section, they have so many more options online as well. This Lancome one right here, $30 here. If you were to get this at Nordstrom, it's probably 10 to $20 more. They're starting to carry some of the higher end makeup in store, but this, in the store space, they only have so much room. If you go online, I always tell people, if you buy a high end makeup product from Dillard's or Nordstrom, wherever, look at Costco.com because they've been carrying a lot of really high end brands at a huge discount. Here's another example of a high end product product $25 on clearance here online it's three times more for $25 I love this CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub specifically this winter my face skin has been so dry and I've been using this underneath my makeup womanly things always got to stock up I think one of the silver linings that I'm most happy about in getting older is every month that goes by I have to deal with this one time less in my life liquid IVs the best flavor in existence is this golden cherry. The unfortunate thing is the strawberry doesn't taste good at all. So they need to come up with just a golden cherry one. And then they have a new flavor here, cucumber mojito and pina colada. However, I recently discovered Prime and I have been really enjoying this and it is $7 off right now. $18, I'm gonna get this one this time. They have tons of deals until February 25th on all kinds of their vitamins and supplements. First thing I'm gonna say is no one should be taking vitamin or supplement advice from me. I am not a doctor. I'll just show on the screen right now things that I've bought and I've liked from Costco, but again, I'm not a doctor. I, I don't even have a business degree. I graduated from the College of Continuing Education because I wasn't even smart enough to get into business school at my college. So I had to go some backdoor roundabout way to take some business classes. Anyways, the point of all that is, uh, I'm just showing you what, what I get. Uh, just get it. Also, if you feel like it applies to you and you need it and consult with your doctor. I am not a doctor. In the category, if, if you know people over the age of 40, get them this. This is this is one of them. Again, not a doctor, but anyone over the age of 40 I've ever gotten this for has greatly appreciated it. In the cleaning area, before we move to food, starting in pantry, they have Lysol disinfectant wipes on sale, so I need those. I don't like using actual reusable cloth, microfiber cloths in my bathroom. I just feel like once I've cleaned the bathroom with something, it's forever unclean. So I use disposable disinfecting wipes in my bathrooms. Microfiber cloths everywhere else. Love that they have big packs of scrub daddies here now. This is the laundry detergent and booster that I use, but neither are on sale right now, so I'm not gonna get them. Gotta get some TP. Got some water. Every time I'm in this section and I see how freaking expensive diapers are, I'm so thankful I don't have three children simultaneously all in diapers anymore like I did for a year. This is new, at least I haven't noticed it before. For $19, they have the bottled primes that you can get, three different flavors, 15 total bottles. But for $18, I'd rather get the 30 sticks. 430 off this zero calorie sparkling ice water. I got this once for my neighborhood block party and it was so good. Everyone loved it. Oh, I'm tempted to buy it but I, I don't know. I'm just sticking with my prime that I put in my tumbler. This is cute for just under $15. They have Hello Kitty and Friends Boba Milk Tea Variety Box. You get brown sugar, taro, and matcha. I love matcha and I love boba, but every time I've been tricked into buying canned or bottled boba in a store. The boba is always just this really gross texture. So I'm, I'm not falling for it again. If anyone's tried it and liked it, let me know. Heading into pantry items now, and this is new, $9 for these wild protein chips. Buffalo style crispy chips, chicken breast egg whites and bone broth, gluten-free paleo, huh? The first ingredient is literally chicken breast in this chip. Maybe I'll try it later, not today, not today. Today, I'm getting the super unhealthy, not nutritionally dense at all. It's like probably in terms of nutrition, um, counterproductive, obviously, but classic Lay's always tastes good to me. I make pancakes every single weekend and my boys love Nutella and the Kirkland's 
maple syrup on them. Oh, cinnamon toast crunch, it's on sale. I introduced my boys to this for the first time somewhat recently and they are obsessed. I realize it's dessert for breakfast, but we can have dessert after dinner and if it's cinnamon toast crunch over ice cream and cookies, I feel like that's a win. I get this Catalina crunch and this is what I have instead of cinnamon toast crunch because it's gluten-free, it has the extra protein, definitely does not taste as good, but it is gluten-free and it has more protein. For $10, they have gluten-free sprouted rolled oats. These would be great if you made overnight oats. For a little bit, I was on an overnight oats kick a year ago, and this is what I would have gotten for $8 and they're going away. These are amazing. My boys love them a little bit too much. And for that reason, I'm not getting them. 270 off the Japanese barbecue sauce, which I am going to get again. It basically tastes like the sauce that comes with your pot stickers at a restaurant. New to Costco for $12. They have the miracle noodles here. I've been eating these lately. Do they taste as good as regular noodles? Absolutely not. But <laughs> if you are trying to be good and healthy and not just pound loads and loads of actual fully carved and caloried spaghetti into your body, this is an alternative. For $6.79, this is actually probably a better alternative from regular noodles for most people. It's not like the miracle noodles that only have five calories. These actually do have calories in them, but they also have have a good amount of protein. For $10 and organic, this is new to Costco. They make their own Kirkland organic marinara now. They got the asterisks. This is your last chance to get these Amarena delicious cherries. They're so good. They sell these at Williams Sonoma for way more money, but they're good on pancakes. They're good in drinks. They're good on ice cream. That's what I put them on, ice cream. They're so good. $17.50, this is new to Costco. I have been buying this brand from Walmart typically they have just plain applesauce little brainiacs but this one looks like it's for toddlers they have apple carrot banana and apple spinach pear but I really like the brainiac because it has omega-3s and choline in it it's so much healthier than just the basic applesauce pouches this is new as well for $18 they have these superfood smoothie pouches with prebiotic fiber plant protein and flax for $13.50 these freeze-dried fruit crisps are new wow they got a lot of what is freeze-dried mangosteen. $10 for this. No idea what mangosteen is. Sweet potato sticks for $12. Tart cherry. Oh, you know what I've been wanting to try? I'm not going to buy this. It's $10.50 in case you were wondering, but these tart cherry sleepy time mocktails I've seen all over online. I'm going to be making myself one of those soon. Do you know what I'm talking about? These sleepy mocktails. It's tart cherry juice magnesium powder and sprite for $14 i am repurchasing these because they taste like heaven i have no babies in my house i eat these follow up on this it is on clearance now i did give this to my son for christmas it was in fact his favorite gift that i gave him oh and for 6.69 staying in the salty track they asked me to get mini dill pickles so i'm gonna get these for ten dollars and it's going away i am going to get this for all my little cheese boards i've been making for myself lately for 10.99 these i've talked about these so many times they're so good but even better and they're three dollars off right now these ones only two two grams of sugar. They're so good. They are so good, you guys. I got them maybe a month ago and they were just heavenly. $10 for these heavenly hunks and they really are heavenly. I really feel like it's heaven in my mouth when I eat them. And $2 off, $6. This is new. Acapella truffle cones, a waffle cone with chocolate on the bottom. I think once upon a time, a child was obsessed with the very bottom last part of their drumstick. And they told themselves that someday they were gonna invent a product that was just the bottom of the drumstick that's filled with chocolate and congrats. You did it. On clearance for $7.97, I got these last time I came here. They were okay. And by okay, like my children that are obsessed with sugar won't even eat these. So for a sugary item, they're really not that good. Going to the fridge and freezer section now, and I really could not, I couldn't hold back on these bad boys. Kiwis are $10.99 for the yellow and the regular green ones. I tried the blood kiwis or the kiwis that kind of look like this, but then they have a bright red center last time 
I was here and they were gross. They were not good. These plain yellow kiwis are still the supreme kiwi because they don't eat away at your mouth and <laughs> give you like sores in your mouth the way the green ones do. So I'm sticking with these ones. Almost $10 for a seedless watermelon. That is the most I think I've ever seen anyone charge for a seedless watermelon. And I know I would still pick a bad one. The mini cake of the month is a cookies and cream mini cake. Those look good. They also have a triple chocolate cream pie. I probably don't need this many croissants, but for $5.99, it's probably as cheap as I'll find them anywhere. I saw on TikTok people rolling down their croissants with a rolling pin and then frying them in butter and honey. And it makes like this delicious, crispity looking flat croissant. For $5, I'm getting this. Am I gonna finish the whole thing? Probably not because the amount of green things that go bad and get thrown out in my house is nutritionally concerning. But I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna get it. $9 for my all time favorite Caesar salad kit. I love mushrooms. Sometimes I just fry up some mushrooms and eat just this whole thing of mushrooms in oil. $7 for a healthy snack. And I think I can get out of this frozen tundra. I normally buy more berries and stuff, but my kids are about to be at their dad's this weekend. So I'll wait until they're back. My boys have been obsessed with chili lately. And I have typically gotten just this over here, but I don't know, I might, I might venture into one of these eventually. Anytime they're willing to eat protein, I gotta go with it because otherwise they eat no protein. Gotta love the $5 massive rotisserie chickens here. Half the time when I make a hot dish or something with chicken in it, I don't even use raw chicken and cook it fresh. I use rotisserie chicken leftover. Back when I worked at Costco, I would be in the deli sometimes and my job at the end of the day was to rip up all the little chicken carcasses so that we could make these delicious meals with rotisserie chicken in them. 9.50, I need to start doing more pesto in my house. Just some noodles, rip up a rotisserie chicken with the pesto on it, everyone loves it. These flautas are so good. This Kevin's Korean barbecue style beef is 4.50 off right now. I really do like these Kevin's brand products because they're easy, quick meals. $10, I haven't seen this before, but it looks delicious. Garlic barbecue chicken bao. I think they've expanded their Starbucks sous vide egg bites. I love these little egg bites so much. They just came out with a potato and cheese one in the stores, but here they have the egg white and roasted red pepper, uncured bacon and gruyere. Oh, and I guess that's it. They just have it very spread out here. So many delicious desserts here. You know, I'm surprised. I haven't seen a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff yet. That's, I mean, that's in less than two weeks from now. Guys, you better start getting on it. So many pickle things. This pickle de gallo looks really good. Then for $9, we have this taste of the South Fried Pickle Ranch Dip Singles. More pickle things. I love all the pickle things. Is Valentine's Day canceled? Did I miss something? Why is there no Valentine's Day stuff, but there's like pickle stuff everywhere? Valentine's Day been replaced with some sort of new holiday surrounding pickles. I was hoping that they would have the tart cherry juice here for my sleepy time mocktail that I'm going to make later, but they do not. Easy way to get protein into your kids, not saying it's healthy, but it's what I do. These hot dogs wrapped in these crescent rolls, my boys pound those down. And they don't like hot dogs for whatever reason in regular buns, but they like it in a crescent roll. You know, because then my life is harder. Look at this, $3 off. What is this? Crispy potato corn dogs filled with cheese? I don't think there's a dog inside. It's called corn dogs. I don't see any meat. It's just breaded cheese on a stick wrapped in crispy potatoes. That sounds so good. Toaster grills for $10. Still delicious, still not nutritious, but I still have them at my house in my freezer for the occasional I need to eat something and I'm too lazy to even make myself a grilled cheese days. This Mediterranean margarita pizza boat canoe looking thing is on sale for $8.50 right now. The Royal Asia dim sum soup is clearanced out and going away once they sell out of it. The shrimp wonton soup is on sale right now. I am going to get some pot stickers. They are just an easy after school snack. For $13.79, these are new. I haven't seen these little chicken bows. For $11.99, I am repurchasing for a second time these crust offs. My youngest has been loving these in his lunchbox. This is new for $15. Easy, quick lunch. 
idea. Chipotle chicken and rice bowls. Look at all of these delicious desserts. For $10, we have these Portuguese custard tarts. Sometimes when I see something is from another country, like it's a dessert from another country, my brain tries to trick me into buying it as like an educational thing for my kids to eat something from another country when really it's just, it's just my brain wants me to eat sugar. I don't need this. I, my kids can learn. Um, through not eating sugar. For 11.50, they can continue to enjoy these pitted frozen cherries as a dessert. They love them. Here we are, finally some Valentine's Day stuff. Yeah, yeah. Really, it's like the smallest assortment of Valentine's Day stuff ever, and some of them are just pink items, <laughs> not even really Valentine's Day. -y. Do we not love love anymore? <laughs> there, there's more Easter stuff than Valentine's Day stuff. Oh my god, this bunny is huge. For scale, for scale, let me show you. I can like caress this bunny's head with my hand. It's so huge. Yeah, there's Lunar New Year stuff, Easter stuff, and this tiny little section of Valentine's Day stuff that isn't even all really Valentine's Day stuff. These Godiva chocolates are always a heart no matter what time of year. So I don't know, is love canceled? <laughs> I probably would have been fine with that a year ago, but right now I'm very happy. Here's the final haul. I spent $338. If you wanna keep hanging out, feel free to click on one of the playlists floating over the screen at this point. If you rewatch some of my old Costco Shop With Me videos, there are faves listed in there that were not in this video because I try not to be too redundant. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!